This afternoon we've come up to Magumba and to our place where we normally find these Cleopatra needles and we found one. We're very fortunate. I thought we might be a bit early but here she is and let's have a quick look at it. So they come out it's June now so it's still it is slightly early. flowers on it. There's still one flower that's actually closed but you'll see the markings on this flower. It was spectacular. So you've got the yellow nodes inside, petals with a sprinkling of purple on the outer. Okay, it's worth it. Have a look at this. Now this is standing oh, about 25 centimetres. We've got the afternoon sun coming in just behind us now, which is beautiful. I want you to have a look at the leaf on the Cleopatra. It's very similar to the Queen of Sheba. squiggly. I'll just put my finger next to it just so you can gauge the size. So each one of those loops is not bigger than my finger so they, they are small. So when you're looking for them it's very difficult. wondered why it's called orchid hunting let me give you some idea this is Magumba the coast over there to the west and look at this spectacular views all around the sun is just setting too so we're at the end of the day We've come out looking for something as small as this. Now it's in a gravel hillside. And you have to do a fair bit of walking to find that. This is about 25 centimetres tall. And it's just fantastic. It's so exciting when you do find them. Bit of an adrenaline pump <laughs> or hit, so to speak, but when you find what you're actually looking for, it's spectacular. On an afternoon like this, it's so quiet, you can't hear anything. 